In order to work with BFO Dynamics permissions, you have to first install an extension, BI4 Reporting Security. Then we go for Security Setup. And we have a Reporting Security Setup where we start setting security. Security can be based by user and with or user group. So we select a user Leha and we choose the base for the permission. The base can be company, dimension and implication area. Because we are in Kronos Canada, Canada will be automatically applied. Because Leho is our salesperson, we are going to give him permission for the sales area. And this is it. We can view that Leho has permission to company Canada and implication area sales. Now we can set up also the permission for a user group and the user group is already defined is the business central. These are existing but we create our own to join the users who are going to have the same permission in the user group BF4 operation. Now we are going to select first dimension and they are going to use anything that we can see in department, global dimension department related to the sales and production. Now we are going to assign also the application area at the same time without filtering application area they would be able to see all application area and this is it. So we have successfully set up permissions for user Leho on application area and user group operations based on both Kronos Canada within the three application area and all transactions limited to department sales and production. This setup is going to be automatically transformed to analysis services and setup permissions, roles and permission functionality there. Let's have a look. The result of this functionality are roles in analysis services tabular or Azure analysis services where each user has its own username and role and for the user group we have a bi 4 app user group and user group here. Um, so if you look into the uh, Leho, he has a member name and a permission that reflect the role that we assign to him. If you look into the role of uh, BI4 operational users. The roles again reflect the permissions that we assign and the members are those which are. Apart from the automatically generated roles, we have also option to write permissions manually, either to extend the functionality in case that would be needed or in case we have users which have no role at all in the business central, but we give them permissions through this app here. How do we test this? We do not have the permissions logins of these users. So we are actually going into the browse mode in Management Studio and first as a reference let's see what our user can see. So let's bring in just uh, sales data and a data from General Ledger. So we can see we can access into the two application area and just bring in also the company. We have two companies here. Okay, so we can see we have see two companies. These two companies are a copy of each other so the data are the same. If we want to see what are permissions for particular role, we are going to set up impersonation and this is impersonation of user Leho. As you can see, all the measures have been deleted from the previous settings, but let's just see if Leho can see anything in the finance. No. And what about the sales? If you remember, Leho should see only one company. Okay, already the number looks good. It's it just one half of the value. And if we select the company, he should see one company only, Kronos Canada. All permissions are updated when the data are processed from the BC Cloud 
into data warehouse and analysis services. If we need to set up permissions immediately, all we have to do is hit this button here. So this button here will give an immediate impact of all the settings that we have in permissions. Because permissions are set up on analysis services, which is a semantic layer, any BI client connected to this layer will obey these rules.